yo, yo, I say yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy John Race coming to you guys with another video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss another upload, let's aim for 10 likes in this video man, if you guys want more videos, let's aim for 10 likes, and we're gonna get straight into today's video, so look, we got Equalizer Series 2 packs, and look at the cards we got in this set, we got a Diamond, Alexa Bliss, Seth Rollins, this Miz card art is pretty lazy because I'm pretty sure they've used this on like an Emerald Miz. You know what? No, actually, let's pause it. Let's actually check that out right now because I'm not about to sit here and uh, wait around. I actually want to look and see if I'm tripping. Wait, no. What was it? Yeah, prime time. I could have sworn. I think I had pulled the Miz. No? Am I tripping? Yo, it's the same card art. Come on, 2K. How many times are y'all going to do this? How many times are y'all going to do this? Make the same exact card arts. Are y'all that lazy? It's not that hard to sit here and just add a different Miz picture. Why y'all putting the same exact Miz picture on the new cards for it? Why? Look at this. Look, it's the same Miz card art. I don't get it. Oh, my goodness. I don't get it. Oh, my goodness, man. I don't get it. They got me just clicking all over the place now. Oh, my goodness. It's ridiculous how they do that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but this is what the packs looking like right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We only are gonna be able to review the packs because you know, see, and I, this, there's only a couple more weeks left in this game. Putting more money into it doesn't really make sense. I've used all my my faction points on a lot of these packs. If you guys haven't seen any of the pack openings or any of the videos, go to look at some videos. And I did pack openings on all of these packs. Um, so make sure that you guys check it out. But what we are gonna do is gonna go back to where all the cards is at. We're gonna take a look at what's in the set, see if it's worth it. I'm not gonna lie, guys, right away, honestly, I'm being 100% honest. Obviously, ooh, and you get a 99 overall Becky Lynch. We'll, we'll take a look at her afterwards, but actually, we not, uh, actually, no, we're gonna go through all the cards. We're gonna go through all the cards. We're gonna go all the cards. Um, okay, so now they're pretty much juicing emeralds, well, not emeralds, amethyst cards with legendary badges, but you know, this angel guards is not that bad. Not that bad, oh, never, he's terrible. I'm um, gonna finish her in the special makes him pretty much useless. Uh, oh, she's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Dana Brooke, pretty decent. Not too crazy. Swiftness makes her move fast. Pain Train is always good. Sticking like a beast, one of the best badges. And Energetic Opportunist makes her a pretty decent card. So if you get her, um, you won't be too, too disappointed uh, while using her. Humberto Carrillo uh, should be a high flyer, right? High flyer, yep. Quick. Yeah, not bad. They, they actually put decent sets of badges on these amethyst so far mansoor and this is when it kind of gets bad the mansoor badges are terrible his uh finisher is terrible we'll look at the alexa this last we'll look at the Ooh, the code kind of looks good oh my goodness she looks good i'm not gonna lie but um patch is absolutely terrible how about the finisher is not that bad but jeez man dakota kai she looked good man she really mm, she look yo let me get off of this man she looks good but the badges are absolutely terrible Johnny Gargano, 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 whatever. The stats look pretty. Oh, technical submission offense, a 99. That's that's OP. That's very, very OP, actually. Um, 99 technical submission defense. Whoa, so what is, it? what is he, a grappler or something? 87 pin escape is eh. Whoa, they juiced the living out of this Johnny Gargano. His stats are insane. I bet you his badges are not that good. Actually, no. Space Invader? With a 99 technical submission offense. And I'm assuming his finisher must be uh, a submission. I've never used a Johnny Gargano before. I've never really watched him wrestle. I know who he is, but I've never watched him wrestle. Um, Always see Cummins is great. Space Invader is great. Uh, yeah, so this card is not that bad. But usually when they give cards stats that are crazy like this, they don't really make him um have crazy badges. Because, yo, he this is an insane card. They just had to go easy on the badges a little bit. So he couldn't be like just extremely broken. But um, we'll take a look at the, the Uso brothers. The Uso brothers. Um, yeah, I wasn't really expecting much out of these cards. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they're going to be tag team cards, obviously. Um, ooh, never mind. The special and finisher is actually pretty high. Pin escape is terrible, though, right? These are more... I would more so only use these cards for, for um, tag team matches, obviously. But um, aerial range is good. Aerial offense is good. So these are high flyers. This is what they're made to do. Then we got Jay Uso. Is he gonna be any different? Okay, so Jimmy Uso is better. Um, if I'm not tripping, if I'm not tripping. Oh, never mind. The pin escape on Jay Uso is horrible. 68. 
So these aren't cards I would be excited to get. So it's tech, they're tag team cards. And last but not least for this set right here, Seth Rollins. And um, I love Seth Rollins, man. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. I'm not gonna lie, he's one of my favorite wrestlers. He, he'd be in my top 10 all-time favorite wrestlers. Um, but yeah, good finisher, obviously, good special. Stamina 99, movement speed. I wish it was a little bit higher. High pin escape. Yeah, his, his, his stats are pretty, pretty balanced almost across the board. But, man, they just don't really do much with Seth Rollins' badges. It's not really something that's really good. Yeah, I'm not tripping off of that. I'm not going to lie. So, taking a look at this Fabian Acre. Oh, Wet Blanket is one of the better badges in the game. So, that's not bad. I'm not going to lie. Wet Blanket is one of the better badges in the game. But his finisher is terrible. So, any cards that have low finishers. Oh, he also has Wet Blanket. Yeah. Any cards that have low finishers, guys, they're not really, they're not really worth it. Carmella, she does have Space Invader, but the technical mission offense is terrible. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no. Nah. R-Truth, let's see. Hopefully they do something nice with R-Truth. Always see it coming. Energetic opportunist, crowd boost, that makes sense. Mm, not really feeling the R-Truth. Shelton Benjamin, grapple offense, 90. Eh, not, not bad, not bad. Decent, Booker T. We got a few Booker T cards. Let's see how this one's going to be. Yeah, he usually has bad badges. I'm not going to lie. I think maybe his Ruby might have better badges, but let's dive into the diamonds. And obviously for this one, you don't get anything. You only get 45,000 my faction points, which is pretty stupid. They need to do a better job with the collection set rewards because they've been absolutely terrible all year. And if, if, it, if it hasn't been a card, it's been like unbearable to look at. Whoa, Natalia has maxed out finisher. Um, Obviously, her, you, you know, she has that figure for space and yeah natalia's gonna be op oh yeah she's op natalia's op hundred thousand percent op card um that finisher for her is what's gonna make her op hall of fame legendary space invader we like to call that so she's an insane insane card robert rude i want to look at his okay so he has a high finisher his badges aren't really great at all he just has more so showman badges on some glorious stuff glorious but nah, that pin escape is terrible. It's actually it's actually terrible. Um, yeah, really, really bad. I'm not gonna lie. Not not feeling that card at all. Um, okay, the finisher is high. Oh, yeah. Always see a car missing like a B cover. Yeah, it's not not bad. Not bad at all. Um, depending on what his finisher is, he's a powerhouse, Tyler Bate. So yeah, he's not a bad card at all. And then we'll finish off with the Miz, and then we'll take a look at that Becky Lynch you get for you know completing the other set. And yeah, the Miz is a decent card. He has that thing like a B badge, so you'll be able to use him and pretty, you know, pretty much be effective with him. The arm power is only 86, so maybe not. Um, some of the better cards, I'll say Natalia is the best from this set, and then from the other set, I would say it probably would have to be Johnny Gargano. I would say Johnny Gargano. Not even the Alexa Bliss really made me look like and think she's insane or anything like that. Oh, actually, I don't think I looked at Alexa, but did I? No, I did. I did. I did. I did. She's not really. I'm not really. If I didn't look at her, I'm. Hey, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Right now, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, her badges are not really nothing too crazy either. But she's not a horrible card though. Like she has some powerful stats, so you'll get away with using her. But I still, I still would rather rock on with the Johnny Gargano. Like, eat, like just the Space Invader alone. The always see it coming. The all, the all the answers. This makes Johnny Gargano the best card from this from this set. So Johnny Gargano, and then um. Natalia are the best cards from each of their sets for sure. Um, if you get them, let me know because I definitely I'm telling you guys right now they're OP. But we'll finish off the video by taking a look at Becky Lynch. If we can open a pack, we will. I doubt we're gonna pull anything, but um, I want to take a look at that Becky Lynch card, not challenge my collection rewards. So she should be on the bottom here. Am I tripping here? Okay, here we go. So Becky Lynch, this Alexa Bliss card art is fire. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually extremely fire. I love how they do the card arts. They do it, they've done a great job with card arts, especially the ones that are like collection set rewards. The card arts have always been pretty great. It started off pretty nice with the edge one and it got better as time went on. But I wish I could've got this Eddie Guerrero card, I'm not gonna lie. But let's take a look at this Becky Lynch. Let's see if they gave her legendary species. Yeah, Becky Lynch looks good, I'm not gonna lie. But let's get into the stats. Okay, so she has good stats. Not, you see pretty much 90s for the most part, 84s. Pin escape is super high at 95, which is great. Um, I wish her finisher and special should have been, it, it could have been higher. Come on, this is a collection set reward. Whoa, okay. 
Space Invader and Sting Like a Bee. This Beckonish might be the second card I've seen in the game that has Space Invader, Sting Like a Bee. Officially making her one of the best, best, best cards in the game by far. So if you guys are able to complete that set, congratulations to you. You're going to end up getting some of the best or one of the best cards. If not, the best card in the game. Not going to lie, guys. But Samo Samojo is up there, obviously. But he has those, those same two badges right there. Makes him pretty OP. But we're going to finish this video opening a pack. We don't have enough for the deluxe. So we're going to settle with the regular one. But guys, look. If you want to see a pack opening, it's pretty simple. Let's get this video to 20 likes. If you get this video to 20 likes, I'll hit you guys with the pack opening. And it's going to be litty, man. But if you guys pull anything great from these packs, let me know. Um, Hey, man, look. WW2K23 is a couple of weeks away. So y'all boys stay locked and stay tuned. And um, yeah, we're going to end off the video with a Shelton Benjamin. Oh, we did get a diamond contract. Not bad. Um, We'll take it. But guys, do me a favor. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you guys never miss another upload it's your boy jerry and i'll see y'all in the next video man peace gang they cannot do it like him uh-huh nobody's showing like him